Hey, what's up you guys? Got another app review. This time it's on the number one app in the uh, App Store. It's called Rope and Fly. $1.19 in the App Store and 4 out of 5 stars. So honestly, I don't really know how this game did get number one. It's not that amazing, but um, it does have a lot of addictive features and it is pretty fun. So here's the menu. Um, pretty basic menu, there's nothing much else you can do apart from play, just the single player. But um, I also do think there is um, leaderboards, I'm pretty sure anyway. But uh, yeah, when you're going to play you have two options, either free mode or speed mode, which is 30 seconds. So I'll go into three, free mode. And then you can either have training, which is no high score, normal or hard. So I'll just go into training for you guys. And then basically I'll just tell you to play so then it's not like hard for me when I'm trying to talk and play. So basically what you got to do is you've got to try and tap on the screen to try and um, stick onto these buildings and the guy who's falling actually shoots out some kind of rope. It's kind of like the Spider-Man ragdoll if you guys have ever played that on the internet. And uh, yeah, it's a really simple idea, but it is pretty fun. And also if you watch at the bottom when um, I do like uh, fall to the ground, it has got a nice animation, like the guy falls into like loads of pieces, which is pretty cool. So I'll show you the game now. So you tap to shoot the rope thing, and then you tap again to release. And basically you're just trying to get to the, um, I don't know if there's an end of the course, or just basically, um, just keep going. Oh no, I think free mode is just keep going until you crash really, and then it goes on the uh, leaderboards. But the 30 second one, you're just trying to get as far as you can in 30 seconds. So, um, yeah, if you guys saw at the bottom there, there, there is a nice animation for when the guy falls. Like I'll show you here again. So like as you go and then I let go. And as you see he falls into like loads of different pieces, which is pretty sweet. But um apart from that, that's it. That's basically the game. So I don't see how this is number one. I guess it's fun, but number one I don't really think it's worth that. But uh yeah, it is a pretty sweet game. Um check out the light version of there is one. Um or if you actually like the look of it, then I guess buy it. But I don't really recommend it. I'd probably give this game a six out of ten. So, uh, thanks for watching. Could you please rate, comment, and make sure to subscribe because I'm going to have loads of videos up. So, uh, thanks for watching.